of Syria. Give it up for Syria. Our MC here today, our MC here today, Rakan, his father, and I hope, and Omar, sister, another, everybody here is from Syria. A whole bunch of people came from Syria to support Egypt. Give it up for Syria. Long live Syria. Long live Syria. Long live Syria. Oh, Bashar, you will see. of Syria has to follow the great country of Egypt since the dawn of time. This, these two countries have been twins in the struggle at one point and for three years they actually were one country, one body. We feel the pain and the suffering on the streets of Syria. We feel the struggle on the streets of Syria and we identify with their cause. We hear their message and we hear their cries and we're here to stand in solidarity with them. The great people of Syria standing for over seven, eight months, chanting one thing, death before dishonor. This is what our great people in Syria are saying. Death before dishonor. They're willing to die for freedom. And someone had the audacity to ask whether or not they're ready for democracy. Completely ridiculous. This is what we want to make sure that the message that we want to resonate throughout the Middle East, the people are ready for democracy. Let, let me bring our MC Rakan to transition us to the next speaker, another brother of mine, a great friend from the land of Syria. Before I get the next speaker up here, I need you guys to be way louder. I want to ask you something. Are the people that are in Tahrir Square right now suffering, are they alone? No. Are they alone? I'm not convinced. Are they alone? No. I want you to shout as loud as you can so they can hear us in Tahrir Square that they are not alone. Free, free Egypt!
Tuesday morning, Egyptian youth took to the streets asking for freedom, asking for justice, asking for social liberty. Ten months ago, they started walking. The winter in Egypt usually rains and is a little cloudy, but that winter it was raining bullets and the cloud was made out of tear gas. Ten months later, the winter forecast has not changed that much. Ten months later, last Friday, we started our 19th day of our revolution. It took us 18 days to take out the head. Now it's taking us a few more days, 19 and counting, to take out the rest of the system. There are no bullets that could kill democracy. There, are no, there is no gas that could suffocate our will to vote. I have one message for the people in that building. Do you hear me there? For every person, for every person who falls in the square to gas, for every person who falls to bullets, 
in Damascus or Cairo. Many, many will arise. We will continue and we will never end. The Arab Spring does not wither. It's an evergreen spring. Remember this. We will vote. We will go and get our promise of our democracy that we have been dying and will continue to die for. Yes, yes, staff know that their bullets do not kill our shaheed. Their legacies will go on forever. They'll never be forgotten. The only thing your bullets kill and your tear gas hurts is the fear within us. There is no more fear amongst any of the people in the Middle East. No more fear. 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 We want democracy. No more hypocrisy. From the Egyptian Americans for Development, right? We're in the Society of American Egyptian for Development. We call it SAI. It means help. Society of American Egyptian Development, we support all rights of peaceful demonstration. And we're against all forms of violence against civilians. We request immediate transfer of power to civilian elected government and stop martial courts for civilians. Free, free Egypt! Free, free Egypt! Free, free Egypt! Free, free Egypt! and she's working very hard for the Egyptian revolution. She lived in Egypt for a very long time and all her children are born in Egypt. Please give a round of applause for Ms. Nada Halabi. أنا ولا شيء بس بدي أشكر أهل مصر على الموقف اللي عملوه كرمال سوريا. قلعوا الشبيحة من سوريا من مصر. والله شكرا يا أهل مصر ومصري ومصري مصري وسوري إيدي بعيد. مصري وسوري إيدي بعيد. مصري وسوري إيدي بعيد. 
نحن عندما للاسف السوريين عم يعبدوا بشار الاسد وانا بدي اقول وتقولوا معي كلياتكم يا استاذ شريف شو بنقول نحن اهل مصر اهل سوريا ومصري وسوري ايد بيد مصري وسوري ايد بيد لك مصري وسوري ايد بيد بدنا صوت عالي قولوا العسكري حاجة والجيش المصري حاجة تانية خالص الجيش المصري مش راضي عن اللي بيحصل من ممارسات المجلس العسكري وبيقتل ضد المجلس العسكري وبيقول يسخد حكم العسكر يسخد يسخد حكم العسكر يسخد يسخد حكم العسكر بحب اضيف حاجة على الجرائم اللي عملها محمد حسين طنطاوي اللي هو مدي لنفسه رتبه مشير وهو الرتبه اللي على كتفه اساسا ما يستحقهاش لانها رتبه ما بتمنحش للقتله والسفاحين. محمد حسين طنطاوي كان وزير دفاع لحسني مبارك زياده عن 20 سنه انما الدفاع عن مصر هو ما كانش وزير دفاع لمصر هو كان وزير دفاع عن مبارك 20 سنه فانا مش مكسوف لما اقول هو كان كلب مبارك 20 سنه جرائم مبارك وطنطاوي الاثنين قتلوا زياده عن 1200 شهيد لقمع الثوره مشوا على الناس بالدبابات رموا الجثث في النيل قمعوا الثوره وضربوا عليهم غازات محرمه دوليا يبقى من العدل ان احنا نقول الشعب يريد اسقاط المشير ولا العداله بتقول ان الشعب يريد اعدام المشير هو ده العدل ولا العدل ان احنا نقول نسقطه يبقى الشعب يريد اعدام المشير الشعب يريد اعدام المشير الشعب يريد اعدام المشير الشعب يريد اعدام المشير يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر ايوه بنهتف ضد العسكر احنا الشعب الخط الاحمر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر انت والواطي ابن الواطي عايز الشعب المصري يطاطي الواطي عايز الشعب المصري طاطي وحيا دمك يا شهيد وحيا دمك يا شهيد ثورة تانية من جديد ثورة تانية من جديد أنا مش كابان أنا مش كابان أنا مش كابان أنا مش كابان أنا جاي أموت في الميدان أنا جاي أموت في الميدان أنا سامع أم شهيد بتنادي الداخلية قتل أولادي 
سامع أم شهيد في النادي مين حيجيب لي حق أولادي مين حيجيب لي حق أولادي يا بلدنا يا بلدنا يا تكيا يا تكيا يا تكيا يا تكيا يا وسيا حكمنا فيك الحرمية حكمنا فيك الحرمية حكمنا فيك الحرمية حكمنا فيك الحرمية المجلس شلة حرمية عمل لنا فوق السورية عمل لنا فوق السورية يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر احنا الشعب الخط الاحمر احنا الشعب الخط الاحمر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر يسقط يسقط حكم العسكر احنا الشعب الخط الاحمر احنا الشعب الخط الاحمر الشعب يريد اعدام المشير 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 I want to translate very briefly in 30 seconds or less. I'm going to give it my best shot because this is a very, very important testimony. This is a testimony by one of our army officers who chose to stand on the side of people, the side of the right side of history, the side of the revolution, the side of those who aspire for change versus the side of dictatorship. I want to give it up to Mohammed Yassin, a very, very proud Egyptian who chose to stand on the side of Mohammed here has said a couple of very significant points. He said we have to make a clear distinction between the great Egyptian army and the military council, the cronies of Mubarak, who like to continue the same nonsense, the same style of governance, the same uh, dictatorship style. They like to continue the same oppression, cycle of oppression against the people. He makes a clear distinction between them, the army and the military council. The second point, he says that Field Marshal Tantawi is undeserving of his rank because that rank was bestowed upon him by Mubarak, a corrupt uh, leadership to another corrupt leadership. Finally, he said that we have to stand strong on the side of the people, on the side of the revolutionaries in Tahrir. He stands next to them and with them till the very end, until we see victory, as the Syrian people say, give me death or give me liberty, as the American people say, give me death or give me liberty, as the Egyptian people say, death before dishonor. We want to stand next to our people all the way until we see victory. Let me transition to the next person to speak. Um, I want to bring uh, Rakan um, to, ch to share with you a few chants, and then we'll bring the next speaker. I want to make sure that everybody knows that we're here in New York City for Egypt. Everybody who is passing by us, they need to know what we're out here for. We're here for Egypt. If you're here for Egypt, say yeah. yeah. If you're here for Egypt, give it up to Egypt, say yeah. yeah. First, I want you guys to give a huge round of applause to Brother Muhammad, because that is a true soldier right there who sticks to his oath of protecting the people and not the government. So please give it up for him. Guys, make sure you're loud. Yeah. Free, free Egypt. Free, free Egypt. Long live Egypt. Long live Egypt. Free, free Egypt. Free, free Egypt. Long live Egypt. Long live Egypt. Just to give the people who are walking on the streets a chance to know what's going on in Egypt and what kind of things are going on. A very famous journalist who's based in the United States, a go by the name of Mona Tahawi was recently in Tahrir Square covering the protest, and she was beaten with large sticks by the military officers. They broke her left arm and her right hand. She said they brought her into a place of interrogation for the military intelligence. They blindfolded her, tied her hand behind the chair, and she said she lost count of how many men came in the room and groped her and tried to put their hands on her. So free, free Mona!
I would like to welcome you here and thank you very much for your solidarity with Egypt after all this time suffering from this tyranny, suffering from this uh, almost monarchy or like monarchy uh, so-called presidency. The Egyptian youth did what we couldn't do. We, the old generation, we, the clowns who didn't do much for this government and we are the ones who allowed them to do so to kill our kids, we did not talk enough, we don't speak out enough, and this is the result. These are the results. Is that because of our laziness and our cowardice, they are doing now what they did. However, we are correcting our long time mistake. We are in solidarity with them, we will do everything we can to support them, and I have with me on the phone uh, the great Egyptian and international composer and music score writer, songwriter, uh, Mr. Adel Ha'i. He's on the phone with me from Egypt. He's one of the old veterans of Tahrir. Uh, and who, who doesn't know who is Mr. Adel Ha'i, he is the one who lately composed and arranged the whole album of Amr Diab. Benedict Ta'ala, he is the uh, composer and arranger of this album and he wants to direct uh, address you with some words hopefully that this will work Adel Maher Adel Hold on, hold on, let me do this Oh really? I don't know yeah, Go ahead Yes, yes Go ahead Put it on the speaker, put it on the speaker Hold on, let me put it on the speaker uh, mm. Let us try something different Oh, here it is. Here it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you for being with us from Egypt. Mr. Adel Ha is one of the veterans of the revolution over there. Thank you, Adul Al-Khulid. And uh, finally, I would like to leave the mic for uh, my colleagues and my friends. I would like to tell you that enough is enough. If we don't speak right now, they will struggle this revolution. And once this revolution is going to be struggled, all of us will be gone. All of us will be gone. And people who are negative, and acting negatively, they call them the couch uh, party. The people who are sitting over there and they think because they are away, they're not gonna be in the struggle or in what's going on. They live over there, the gas is going inside the houses to them, on their, in, their, in their houses on the couches. So if they are not gonna speak and if they're gonna put the words out, all of us will be gone. Thank you very much for listening. I'll leave the mic for my colleagues right now. Thank you, Brother Muhammad. Uh, I, I like to appreciate and acknowledge everyone again who came from near and far. With us today, our big Syrian community, many people came from the Syrian community in Patterson, New Jersey. Thank you, Patterson, New Jersey, for being part of our Egyptian revolution. With us also, the Occupy Wall Street movement, these great guys here, these great guys here keep you entertained. Thank you, guys. And people from Queens, from Long Island, everywhere, we appreciate your attendance and your support, your solidarity with the great Egyptian people in Tahrir School. Let me bring up another Syrian, share with you a quick minute of reflection, and then we'll transition to another speaker. So, Arabi Hur from Patterson, New Jersey. Assalamu alaikum, ya akhbar, assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullah. Ma andi sot ak ahki ktir, ana andi sikhlis. Walakin bahab baul, la shab al masri, ene wa bisahat al tahrir, ene suriya kila maakon, wa jesh al suri al hir maakon, wa ya masur, hana maakil al mud. Ya masur, hana maakil al mud. Ya 
ما صار حنا معاك للموت مصرية حنا معاك كل الموت يا مصر سوريا معاك للموت يا مصر سوريا معاك للموت طيب اخواننا قال الاخ شريف قال انه نحن قطعة منكم لا نحن وانتو قطعة واحدة ونحن رح نحرر الشعوب العربية والثورة المصرية والثورة السورية ستحرر الشعوب العربية في كافة انحاء الشرق الاوسط الله اكبر يا مصر سوريا معاك للموت يا مصر سوريا معاك للموت مصرية سوريا مع كل الموت علو صوت سوريا مع كل الموت مصرية حلبية مع كل الموت مصرية حموية مع كل الموت مصرية حمزية مع كل الموت شكرا كثير ونحن دائما انتم في قلبنا ونحن ما عم نحكي معكم يعني بس كلام على الميكروفونات نحن والله العظيم نحن سبورت ايجيبت تو ذات وي سبورت ايجيبشن بيبول تو ذات وي ويل وايت وي ويل فايت فور يور رايت السلام عليكم اخوكم عربي حر Thank you, Syrians who came out today in the city of Homs, the besieged city of Homs, the besieged city of Hama, the besieged Damascus capital of the great nation of Syria. The Egyptian flag is raised high. The Egyptian flag is flying in the skies of the Syrian skies to appreciate and to distinguish and to pay tribute to the fallen heroes of Tahrir Square. We appreciate the presence today by our Syrian brothers. Brothers and sisters who came to support us. Another fellow Syrian, her name is Maysa Qabani. She's a wonderful, wonderful speaker. I want you to enjoy her two, three minutes. Thank you very much, Brother Sharif. يعني فاجئني اليوم إنه مفروض تكون الجالية المصرية معانا اليوم كلها والجالية السورية كمان. كل ما بننزل على المظاهرات من لاي العدد كل مرة أقل. لو كانت الناس في مصر قاعدة ببيوتا. لو كانت الناس في مصر ما عم تشارك بساحة التحرير ما كنتوا شفتوا الثورة المصرية انتصرت لو كانت الناس ببيوتا قاعدة بسوريا ما كنتوا شفتوا الحرية على الأبواب اللي فاجئني اليوم ما في شيء اسمه سوريا ومصر اسمه الربيع العربي لكل الشعب العربي مفروض تشاركونا بمظاهراتنا ونشارككم بمظاهراتكم مثل ما خرجنا مع اليمن ومع ليبيا بتمنى الجميع يكون بالشارع لينادي للحرية لكل الوطن العربي احضرنا أحد الاحتفالات وكلمة اجت من الصحفي وائل الأبراشي على الثورة المصرية قال الشيء الرائع حول الثورة المصرية إنه الشعب المصري عرف الطريق أي شيء ما عاد يعجبه أي شيء ما عاد يطبقه لح ينزل على ساحة التحرير وأكيد كل الشعوب العربية رح تعرف الطريق وعرفت الطريق أي مين حينصب ولا يقعد حكومة ما لح توفي مطالب الشعب لح يرجعوا على ساحة التحرير الشعب العربي ما عاد مثل الأول والتاريخ الآن يكتب التاريخ الآن يكتب نحن ماضون وهذه ثورة شباب الشباب الآن يطالب بحريته يطالب أن يعيش كما يعيش الآخرون في أي بلد غربي أو أجنبي الشباب اللي واقف على السفارات الأجنبية بالطوابير ليأخذ فيزا عم يطالب هلأ يعيش بكرامة ببلده الحكومات العربية اللي دعستنا ودهستنا لمدة أربعين سنة أنا الأوان لحتى نمسحها مسح بمصر غيروا فقد الرئيس وتركوا الحكومة بنقول إسقاط النظام معناته كل فلول النظام القديم لازم يمشي ثورة ثورة شباب نحن جيل التخاذل بدنا نعتذركم يا شباب نحن 
مصر يا شباب سوريا يا شباب ليبيا يا شباب اليمن رفعتوا روس لعالية حقيقتكم كلمة واحدة هلا لكل الحكومات العربية لن تؤخروا قدوم الربيع ولو دهستم الورود بأقدامكم وتحية لكل دم شهيد تحية لكل دم شهيد ولكل أم فائدة ابنها أو أخوها أو أبوها تحية للجميع وتحية لك يا مصر لأني قمة الدنيا ولحتبي أم الدنيا
the awakening and the need for civil rights is a global is a global awakening that affects us all. We're here because of our parents and our grandparents and our children and our and our children to come. So it's not it's not just one movement, it's not a youth movement, it's a global movement. You know, and and our squares are your squares. So when we see people into here, we think about our squares here and we and we need to take them back. So we know that we might be divided by land and sea right now, but our movement is the same. Our chants are the same. Um, and all of that is, is what's driving us here today. Um, I'm ready to mine. Let's hear it from Victoria. I got you five more feet. When the Egyptian revolution started, I spoke at the Union Square, and my, my three years old kids, who were chanting, and she said, Egypt is free, and U.S. will be free. So we are, we are part of this country. We have our resp responsibilities to fight uh, what we believe, to fight the freedom that we thought that we have. Our sister and brothers here, uh, we are part of this country, and we have to protect what we thought that we have. So let's really hear it again for Occupy Wall Street. Our next speaker, um, her name is Maha Abdurrahman, and um, I saw tears in her eyes when um, our sister uh, from Syria was, was, was doing some words. So we, we are all connected, we are all feel of each other suffering. So let's hear it for Maha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sure. Okay. I want to thank for the real country who made this protest, Tunis. They're really, really did a great job. They showed us not to be scared. Before I used to look down to the floor, walk next to the wall, but now I walk in the middle of the street, look up high. And before I, I used to be scared to tell I'm from Egypt, but now I'm an Egyptian. And now I tell everyone I'm from Egypt. I want to thank everyone for coming here. I want to thank Egypt for like, making me feel like no fear. I'm sorry. Um, I want to say something in Arabic, if you mind. Mas into warutni horreya. انتوا ورثني بدم الشهداء هم الرجال حق او حي مصر انتوا اكبر ناس انا ممكن اتمنى اعيش معهم انا اسفة عشان انا مش هنا ده غصب عني انا فعلا عايشة هنا عشان كده عربي مكسر وعايزة شك سوري يمن وعايزة اقول الف مبروك لليبيا وكمان عايزة شك كل العالم ورونا ما فيش خوف. my mother said earlier when I was younger and I was in Syria visiting my family I remember I had to go to the US Embassy because there was some kind of problem with my passport I was born here in the United States and I remember that the line at the US Embassy in Syria was wrapped around the block literally four times and my mother said earlier in her speech in Arabic that the people who are lined up outside the US embassies all over the Middle East so they can try to come to this country and experience some sort of democracy have left those lines and have now taken to the streets and said we want this democracy in our homeland. We shouldn't have to leave our homeland to have the freedom that the people want. So what do we want? Let's go with freedom for the first time. <laughs> Oh! 
here in the entire Middle East is one country. And we have all stood up at the same time and said we want freedom and we want democracy. And we're standing here today in solidarity with not only Egypt, but the entire Middle East and all the revolutionaries in the Middle East to tell them we will have freedom and we will have democracy because the people said so. America. This is what I'm supposed to represent, but now I'm representing all Egyptian people, not just 6th of April. We're all one unit defending our revolution, not just in Egypt, but all over the Arab nation and even here in USA. So long live revolution! Long live revolution. There is only one solution! Revolution, revolution!
team dance by one or two bombs just to disperse people. They're using tons of them. People are having severe injuries and toxification. They develop severe convulsions. I've talked to my friend 